Well, hello, my fellow Americans, and thank you for joining me for one more day of the freedom of speech and the freedom of the press here in the United States of America. My fellow Americans, the spirit of Antichrist is moving greatly in our land. This is perhaps the hardest task any man of God has in America today, and that is to instill in the minds of Christians and Americans alike that this wickedness does exist, and this devilish activity is not only destroying America, but the church. And it is a powerful force in corrupting American heritage, its Christian foundation, and the erosion is more than evident. Only the blind cannot see how harrowing a devastation it is making upon America, and how worldly it is making the churches of the living God. The prognosis is your all-seeing eye of the empty manufacturing buildings that we have throughout the country, the industrial complexes destroyed throughout the country, decayed in unpopulated cities, buildings oxidized through time looking like World War II photos, cracked and chaffed highways throughout the country. We have homeless problems, troubled youths, disgruntled middle class, impoverished education, not to mention the inability of our political leaders to solve the ailments of domestic and foreign policy. Make no mistake, the decay of the pulpit in America today is one of the reasons the anti-Christian spirit is moving powerfully in this nation. Therefore, this is why we must stop this movement that is walking the halls of the Capitol and walking the streets of every city in America. If there is ever a time to return to the true principle, principles of the gospel, it is now. When our children are picking up guns and killing people instead of enjoying life, it is time to return to the principles of the gospel. When our children are from broken homes, it is time to return to the principles of the gospel. When children spend more time in leisure instead of school, it is time to return to the principles of the gospel. When domestic violence raises its fist in every city, it is time to return to the principles of the gospel of Christ. When unemployment destroys entire families and brings a record national debt, it is time to return to the principles of the gospel. When we see entertainment in the media and music glorifying murder, hate and jealousy, revenge and drugs and horror and destruction, it is time to return to the principles and truth of the gospel. The spirit of Antichrist is alive and well in this country, my fellow Americans. The demonic, my friends, does nothing straightforward. It always does it backwards. And our nation has been marching backwards for quite some time now. Our nation needs a revival, not a national revival. A revival of men on fire for God. Men who have the voice of the Lord instilled in their bodies. Who know no compromise. Men who stand alone as the prophets of old. And who sound like John the Baptist. Are immovable and listening to the voice of the Father and saying, Not my will, but thine being done. Like our Lord the Christ. These traits, these virtues and qualities breathe greater character in others. And this is what we need today. This is the prayer for our time for these type of men. It is the requirement of our time. America has been downcast by anti-Christian activism and only men of quality can change it with the help of the Spirit and hand of God. This cannot be achieved without God Almighty moving powerfully with us. My fellow Americans, if we through arrogance think we are not in need and that God is not looking for bitter men and that He is not touching you today, then the evil spirit seeking the destruction of our country shall succeed and all is lost for our nation. It is time to reflect and realize the Holy Spirit is speaking to us about our sins and the denial of God and that these are reasons why we are in such a troubled state. 
that we to be blessed once again as a nation must seek the higher standards of the spirit of Christ over the devilish nature ravaging our land and chipping away at our daily life. It is not that our Lord is not generous and thoughtful. He offers His Spirit so we may become changed men, a changed people blessed of God. He is passing by today calling us, but we must not hesitate, for this passing is today and may not be here tomorrow. And we enjoy all the wonderment and good things of life today. But tomorrow may be a different story if we do not have Almighty God overshadowing and taking care of us. Tomorrow is a different day, but today is the day of salvation. So, my fellow Americans, if you have slidden away from the ways that are principled in the ethics and standards and ideals of Christ, may you return unto them. And may you return unto Christ if you have fallen away. And for those of you who do not know Christ, know that today is the day of salvation, and without Him no man can do nothing. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.